हेलो वेलकम डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह देसाई टुडे इन यूनिट टेन द हाउस होल्ड एज अ कॉपरेटिव कन्फ्लिक्टिंग यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर विद टॉपिक सोशल टेक्नोलॉजी कॉपरेशन एंड कन्फ्लिक्ट द सोशल कंटेंट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इज वट मार्क्स कॉल्ड द कम्बाइनिंग टूगेदर ऑफ वेरियस प्रोसेस इन टू अ सोशल होल the so called productive activities may be parasitic on other work be, being done such as housework and food preparation the care of children or bringing food to the field where cultivators are working technology is not only about equipments and its operational characteristics but also about the social arrangements that permit the equipment to be used and so called productive processes to be carried out the household activities have been viewed in many contradictory ways in assessing production and technology on the one hand it is not denied that the sustenance survival and the reproduction of workers are obviously essential for the workers being available for outside work on the other hand the activities that produce or support that sustenance survival or reproduction are not typically regarded as contributing to output and are often classified as unproductive labor Sen gives a hypothetical example of the household to combine the material the capabilities and the perception as coexisting in the household he says that an integrated view should be formed of the pattern of activity outside or inside the home that together make up the production process in traditional as well as modern societies the relations between the sexes are obviously much conditioned by the ways these different activities sustain and support each other and depend inter alia on the particular patterns of integration the prosperity of the household depends on the totality of various activities getting money income purchasing and or directly producing food materials and other goods producing edible food out of food materials and so on but in addition to aggregate prosperity even the divisions between sexes in general and specifically those within the household may also be deeply influenced by the pattern of gender division of work in particular the member of the household face two different types of problems simultaneously one involving cooperation and the other conflict social arrangements regarding who does what and who takes what decision can be seen as responses to the this combined problem of cooperation and conflict the sexual division of labor is one part of the social arrangement seeing social arrangement in term of a broader view of technology and production has come some far reaching effect first it points to the necessity of the examining the productive aspects of what are often treated as purely cultural phenomena contribution that are in effect made by labor expanded in activities that are not directly involved in production narrowly defined second it throws light on the stability and survival of unequal pattern of the social arrangement in general and deeply asymmetrical sexual division in particular an example is the resilience social division of labor in most societies by which 
women do the cooking and are able to take on outside work only in so far as that can be combined with persisting as the cook the third it points out to the division between the paid and unpaid work in the context of general productive arrangement and fourth the specific pattern of sexual division outside and within the household the nature of cooperative arrangement implicitly influences the distributional parameters and the household's response to conflicts and perception of interest systems of kinship orient members of the different kinship system system differentially to make activities perception of activities may differ in societies with patrilineal matrilineal and bilineal kinship system nevertheless we must acknowledge the spread and influence of patrilineal as a micro ideology in the world dubey has contrasted the three kinship system by which the quality of gender relations and position of women vary in and outside the household by introduce, introducing the capabilities agencies and perception dimension to the household as a cooperative conflict unit san has broadened the scope of this perspective to cover a number of dimensions other than income and distribution of resources now let us conclude the lesson This unit focused on the perspective that views the household as an cooperative and at the same time a conflicting unit. In the previous unit we had seen how emotions in the family and household include not just the positive emotion of love and affection but also those such as tensions, hate, rivalry and jealousy. the cooperative conflict perspective came up in the backdrop of families to thought and struggle this thought also influenced economic analysis and questioned the value of studying the household as an unified whole without internal differentiation by gender subsequently further advancement in the analytical parameters took place in cooperating issues of capabilities well-being agency perception and social technology we have seen how kinship system have differential meaning for similar activities this will be further clarified in other units we have also included the dimension of reproductive and gender differential in the household as cooperation combined with conflict in varying me- measures we have discussed this issue in the introduction of this unit we can also include the role of perception and see how perception regarding distribution of resources and input of different members in the fertility decisions are influenced by the state through its policies in a similar vein the influence of caste and religious community on the household is strong and can affect the social technology capability agency and perception of activities in the household these may range from franchise political representation choice of marriage partner divorce and remarriage biological and social reproduction access to health care etc population policies of india and china have impacted reproduction in the household quite differentially state policies and households and families may be analyzed from the cooperative conflict perspective here we want to close this lecture and we have come to the end of the unit thanks for
листина